Okay, today is the last day of uh, winter break for the kids, so we are going to take the Model 3 out on a little road trip. And I'm kind of excited because it's raining and I got an update uh, that does automatic windshield wipers. So we'll test that out today. We're also adding more solar panels to support our electric lifestyle. We're going up top, which is pretty cool. We've got two electric cars now, and electric skateboards and electric everything. So I'll uh, document loading up the three and show you all the storage space and uh, the wipers and anything else that happens on a road trip. All right, bye. So for the road trip, we charged it up to 278 or something because we're going down to Monterey and uh, we're gonna hit I'm gonna try to hit a supercharger down there just to see what it's like so we don't need that much range but I'm gonna go ahead and oh, I gotta unlock the car so that means I gotta turn on Bluetooth because I keep it off you know why for my other videos all right car turned on it says 278 miles so just unplug that hang that up and that will close when we oh, it'll close right now um, so I will load this up in a minute okay I'm gonna pack this up so I think I'll put a backpack in the front put skateboards in the back and the scooters in the back and our bags in the back. We'll show you how that works out. All right, let's pop this hood. Actually, keep a couple bags in here since we need the room today. I'll show you that. Okay, we're about ready to go. I have to load the skateboards and scooters, and I got a big bag under here. Plenty of storage space. It's pretty awesome. Okay, let me load these in. Okay, all set. You want to put more in? Okay, so I am going to show you, so I have my wife videoing right now, and when we take off for the freeway, uh, if you listen very closely, you can hear um, the whine of the motor. I think it gets picked up in the, um, I think it gets picked up in the, um, in the stereo. So if you listen right when I accelerate, you'll hear kind of this whine. I had that problem in my Model S, where it was actually a uh, really bad wine and I took it in and they put some sort of filter in or something and, and got rid of it. It's not so bad in this car. You can barely hear it, but um, if you just listen real carefully while I accelerate for the freeway here, one second. So you hear just a slight whine there. Uh, you can hardly hear it this time. Uh, I think it, it comes and goes. Maybe it's dependent on how the stereo on. But uh, uh, you can just, just kind of barely hear it. It's a lot better in this car than it was on the Model S. Uh, the other thing, now that we're on the freeway, if you point at this, uh, it detects things around you. So see that car? It's detecting a car. So it knows exactly where it's at. I'm going to go ahead and put it in autopilot down twice. And then it will, you can adjust 
the speed to be above the speed limit. It automatically reads the speed limit and then you can adjust it, but it will follow the car in front of you whatever distance you set in the control. Um, so autopilot's doing pretty good now. It's uh, not wandering quite as much as it did when I first started it. Uh, so that's cool. And I think it's gonna rain today, so I'm gonna show you the auto uh, windshield wipers that automatically detect the water on the window and just turn on to keep it at a nice, um, uh, nice and clear. Uh, so that's it for now. Okay, so I've got it on autopilot, and if you point down here, I'm gonna shift lanes. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna do it uh, with the with the turn signal. It automatically knows that there's no car there, and it shifted lanes all by itself. Turn the turn signal off, and it's, it's driving itself. So I think, whoa. <laughs> okay, I got a little confused there with the with the turn lane and followed the thing. Oh, cars are coming. I'm gonna just hit the turn signal and it does it all by itself. It goes over to the other lane and I haven't touched it. I just touched the turn signal. So that's that's kind of cool. I can see that being useful in the future. Uh, I think the next autopilot update, it'll have a little bit smoother um, following of the lanes and cars. Uh, but right now it's, it's doing okay. Okay, so we're halfway down Monterey Coast, and uh, one thing I want you, if you can put the camera close up here, you can kind of hear a little bit of wind noise. Uh, it's not too bad, but it seems like some wind noise comes from the glass up here. Uh, but like I said, it's not, it's not too loud. Um, the other thing is, if you look down here, you can. Uh, hit this or hit the button to give it a voice command. You can say uh, Play Beastie Boys And it'll go out and search Slacker. That's the service it uses and It'll play, play the music and the sound system is really good. Now this is This is the upgraded system uh, So it, the, the speakers are really good. I know you probably can't hear it on the video So we are down here in Monterey and we were just uh, skateboarding and I uh, just want to say real quick that with four people in the car loaded with all our stuff that the ride was much uh, much smoother. And I also lowered the air pressure to 45 psi uh, so I think that helped as well. Uh, so I am going to go into the service station on Tuesday and they're going to take a look at it because I called them and told them it was the ride was too firm. Uh, so we'll see what they say. I'll let you know, and, uh, and we'll take it from there. All right. Get a little bit of mist, and the wipers go. That's pretty nice. You don't even have to think about it. Does it does it do it too much? That's so good. And does it just enough? Pretty good. 